In this video, I'm going to teach you about WooCommerce shortcodes. We're going to take a look at what they are. Um, we're going to take a look at where we use them. And we're also going to give you a practical example of how we can use them to create a major web, uh, a major sale on your web shop. Okay, so let's just get into the meat of this straight away. What exactly is a WooCommerce shortcode? All right, so at the moment, I've got my Simple Stores demo site open here on the home page of the site. And you'll notice that on the home page, we had by default um, a few categories shown. We had some stuff that said new in, and we had fan favorites. Then we had some on sale stuff, and we had some best selling stuff as well. So the Woo commerce shortcodes are little snippets of code that you can type into any part of the website on a page or on a post or even in a widget and what that little piece of code does is it goes and actually collects information from the database of all your products and it displays it on the page in a predetermined format so for instance here if we go into edit this page over, over there now and we look at what's actually typed up on this page, you'll see that over here in between square brackets, we have a shortcode and there's a whole bunch of them. All right. So those shortcodes are the instructions to WordPress on what to do and how to display it. So it might seem a little bit confusing at first, but basically what this is, is a very simplified version of writing code. Now, I know that you are probably going to get very distressed by the thought of actually writing code but I want to show you just how easy this actually is and the various practicalities of actually using it. So on the home page we had that section here shop by category and you'll see that we've got um, something here that says product categories we're limiting it and we have a certain number of columns. Now every one of these short codes there are several different kinds of shortcodes and I think the best thing for you to do if you want to familiarize yourself with the shortcodes is actually go to a page of here and I will link this in the description of the video um, I've got it displayed here and it's basically shortcodes that are included with WooCommerce and this page will show you how to use them um, it'll give you some various examples and it's it's quite a good resource if you really want to get stuck into developing or designing a new page or doing some customizing of your WooCommerce shop. All right, so let's go back to the home page and see what we've got here. So we've got the shop by category and um, that that short code is basically bringing in three different categories uh, from our database. There are probably more than three categories in the database, but we only wanted to sh uh, show three of them here and we're showing it across three columns. Um, if I wanted to change this now, so for instance, I wanted to make it four, I would just change the actual shortcode there, the bits in between the, uh, what do they call those things? Inverted commas. Okay. And it'll order them by the menu order. I don't actually need that part, but I'm going to leave it in there for now. And let's just update this and see what it does. So if I now go back to the viewing of this page, you will see that we now have four blocks over there. So it's displaying four categories. And that's really how simple shortcodes are to use. Once you learn the shortcodes and you learn where you can use them, um, they become very helpful to you in building specific parts of your website. So, you know, if you wanted to build a site that's um, very vanilla flavored, that's all good and well. But what if you wanted to do things a little bit more on your own terms? that's where the shortcodes can actually be very helpful to you. So what I want to do in this video is actually create a custom page that is going to be a page that we would be displaying as a mid-year sale. So let's go straight into doing that. And what I'm going to do is go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to go to pages. I'm going to click on add new and I'm going to call this Whoops. Sorry, I'm I'm having typing difficulty because I have to lean over to get my mouth close to the microphone. All right. So mid year sales is what we're going to call this page. And I'm not going to allow comments on this. I'm just going to publish the page as it is right now. And we're going to have a look at the page to see what's on it. 
and you'll see it's got basically nothing on there. Okay, so that's cool. We're going to now put all of our sale items on that page and we're going to link to that page from our menu. So let's get into it. Right. So the first thing to do is to decide well, which WooCommerce shortcode we need to use. And in this instance, we want to use the product shortcodes. And this here will explain how these shortcodes work. And within each shortcode, you get different attributes as well. So what I want to do for my sale page is I actually want to create a, uh, a list of all the items that are in the shop that are on sale. Okay, so let's start. All right, where is my page? Okay, so here we go. I'm now going to type in with a square bracket products. Okay, leave a space and now I'm going to start specifying the attributes. So the first attribute that I want to look for is whether it's on sale or not. And to find that, I'm just using this over here. Um, let's see where it is on sale. There we go. So let's go ahead and do that. Products on underscore sale equals inverted commas, T-R-U-E. All right, so what we're doing is we're actually telling WooCommerce to bring back any products that are on sale and display them. Okay, so I'm going to stop this short code right here and let's just test it to see what it's done. Okay, and if I go here to view the page, I'm going to shut that one down. And there you see all the products that are on sale in my shop are now displayed on that page. There's six of them. Okay. Now, I don't like the fact that there's only two columns here, so I'm going to make this actually appear a little bit uh, bigger so, or a little smaller. So let's change it to three columns. Okay. So now I want to find what is the short code that I use to specify the number of columns and it's quite literally the word columns. So I'll go back to the short code on the page here, leave a space after the last parameter and type in columns equals three. Whoops. Very important that you type in the correct inverted comma, the single one isn't going to work. If I click on update and I now go back to my front to my mid-year sales page, I now have a three columns of information. And that's really how easy it is to use the shortcodes. So in this case here, I only have, uh, I think there were only what, six products on sale. So if I was going to make a change to the number of products that I have on sale, I would need to go into my dashboard. Let's go there, go to products, all products, and let's start adding some more sale items here. So on this product, if I do a quick edit, just type in the sale price here, let's make that 80. And we'll do a quick edit over here make this 15 click on update let's do two more quick edit make that 18 and the last one we'll do 30 update okay now we got to go find that page again so let's just do it this way And you'll see that now we have those other items in there too. So that's the practical application of one of the short codes that you can use with WooCommerce. What I'd encourage you to do is to go to this page, have a look at them, uh, what they've actually displayed here or what they've actually uh, written about. And, you know, if you scroll down the page, you'll see there's a lot of different examples here that uh, might become very useful to you. So if you were having a sale, for instance, you might now want to link that sale 
to some part of your website and that would be really easy to do you could do it either via the menu or you could go to your home page and add a link in here like a button or something okay all right so let's put this onto our menu and to do that is really straightforward we're going to go to menus and we're going to see over here that it's on our most recent uh, pages that we've worked on mid year sales is there so I'm just going to click tick it add it to the menu there it is and let's put it over there it might be a little bit too long so I'm going to change that um, let's just take that out sell click on save let's go back here there we go so that sale page is now accessible directly from the menu and you can tweak and customize this as you like all right guys so that's all i have to tell you about uh, short codes in this video if you have any questions as always just leave them in the comment section below um, please share this video with your friends and if you know of anybody who wants to have a simple store done for them you know where to send them until next time take care